We have received several questions about the museum in Sardagnola. So we've been asked the following. We've been asked the following questions. What emotional well-being test will be sent to participants to assess the project? Well, they are inside the ECAP. They have been validated. The, the one entitled body shape. Okay, we can perhaps include these tests into the presentation. Second question, is the exhibition on the human body, I mean, is it gonna stay around for a while? No, there is no such thing as a body exhibition. There was one, the Naked Man, which was sponsored by the regional council. And I would like to make the most of this question because at the end of the day, it's all about uh, permanent exhibitions. We like permanent exhibitions, which are the ones that have to be updated. Well, the different sessions will be, or the different exhibitions will be repeated. Well, there are questions also about, not only about this project, but about others, specific details, how many sessions with what items. Perhaps you can answer directly to them because this would be a long answer. There, there are also questions about another element which is important. Sonia has raised the importance of research, academia yet another field in which there is quite a long way ahead and the different partners of the symposium are promoting the first master's degree in arts in health. This is an important step forward because it is a way to somehow enter university. And, of course, more will have to be done in this field. Then there is another question about the role, which has not been mentioned. Relevant question, the role of art therapy, music therapy, and yeah, theater therapy, and any other form of dance therapy. Well, this topic is clearly Controversial, well, perhaps not controversial, but it needs a certain clarification. There is a clear disadvantage compared to other environments, international environments, the certification of skills and the habilitation to work, even more so to work within the health system. So we believe we need a, an update process. As you know, there is a problem with the word therapist. From a health perspective, this generates certain reticence and reticence. Professionals who are not regulated within the health department. So the word therapist produces a certain degree of uncomfort. So we need to move towards concepts like mediator or concepts that might somehow mild down potential controversies. So if we include people with disabilities and we want them to act as mediators to attain health targets within a therapeutic plan, right? And that's why we insist 
on the importance of co-creating between health professionals and cultural development. So if we always have this profile, the integration of experts in mediation is perfect. So the danger is that from any potential scope, such like, you know, a nurse playing the guitar and saying, I will teach you how to play the guitar. No, there are expertise. There's expertise and it's to be respected and the same applies the other way around. An art therapist cannot, let's say, uh, overdo it, especially at a time when mutual trust and training is very important. So we need to uh, work on this. In the US, for example, in Canada and in some European countries, art mediation, art therapy, music therapy, art therapy are very consolidated and I believe we need to move down this line because these profiles can definitely bring a lot to mediation. Oh, there are many, many questions. Here's another interesting topic. Where can we buy the book, Relatos Narratives? Thanks for asking the question. Antonia says that you can buy it anywhere, not in Amazon. Oh, perhaps also in Amazon. Any online platform, you can get it there. It's an amazing gift for San Jordi, so do not hesitate. It's also offered to patients. More than 3,000 have been distributed. Another important topic that has been raised from the health perspective, bias, access bias. So the question is, Enrique Aragonés, family doctor from Consanti, asks the following. There's something that concerns me in the use of art as a health resource, which is Inequalities in access, of course, even if doors are open to everybody, there will be barriers, sometimes um, unsurmountable barriers for some people who will never feel in resonance with culture unless we correct the bias such as including other forms of culture, exploring preferences amongst social groups, promoting self-management, cultural self-management. Indeed, the topic is timely. The, I mean, culture is has an entry barrier. With Chris Bailey, we were precisely discussing about this, right? In urban and contemporary and in contemporary environments, it is more the case because in other environments, music has never lost its presence, right? Playing an instrument and gathering around culture is very much of a modern thing here in urban environments. Yes, this can be the case, of course. Here at the center, I mean, I have been acquainted with the role, well, social integration, social integration, to break the entry barrier and finding accessibility to culture. Well, yeah, it is a challenge, no doubt about it. And as Andre Caragones says or points out, we need to include other forms of culture. Yeah, we include a bias in the question, what culture, right? There's the graffiti culture, there's the urban culture. Now, anywhere where there's a mirror, there will be young people dancing their choreographies and thus building a sculpture, right? And not to speak about the uh, cox fight, rap fights. This is poetry. Then there's no doubt about it. It's culture, indeed. So culture doesn't necessarily have to be only traditional or classic culture. 
There's Carmen Alba in the room. There's another project that has not been presented. It will be presented in the next symposium. Then there are sexually transmitted diseases. We want to find it's one of the other pan uh, pandemics, right? So through culture, we want to find tools to convey the relevant message, the relevant public health message. When in fact we are letting the youth identifying their concerns, the form, the artistic form that resonates with them. So the process is interesting also due to this bias, right? And this is why we insist a great deal on participation. Participation is important because otherwise, and as Enrique says, you might end up falling into the paternalism trap. So, yep. And this is why it's very important. We have gone through it many times now that I am teaching in the diploma. Uh, it's important to bear in mind the bias, even when you put together like the curricula, right? Our gaze conditions us, gender, gaze, social class, right? Our biases that are oftentimes visible in our actions. We're lucky because here in Catalonia, inclusion and accessibility is a very important line, working line, but we shall never forget it. Here's another question about funding. How do we fund all this? It's great because the budget is around 240, 270 million euros, and the health budget is 12 billion euros, right? But both have a problem in terms of lack of funding. So things are relative, right, in life. But at the same time, it's also true that we need to be careful to ensure that our actions are in health, do not perpetuate precarity in health, in, in culture, rather, in the cultural circles we are used to precarity. A friend of mine once said that when you organize a cultural activity, no one doubts about using six or seven screens, AV materials, translation, etc. All this is given for granted, whereas paying a decent salary to the artist is Mission Impossible, right? And this is something that we need to be careful with, right, in the projects that we promote. Another question, narratives. Why narratives? Relatos, hospitales, well. And then there's another important moment, which is the following. Perhaps at a given point you will have a chance to speak about the plans, the future plans of the narratives project. There is also a theater group that have launched several projects. More questions, there are many, and we are running very late. Uh, for the elderly, yes, of course, tomorrow there will be a very interesting project on the elderly, undesired loneliness, etc. And many questions which are quite specific and we'll answer them when we hand over the minutes of the conference. So this is about it, questions wise. Is there any online question? No. Okay. Well, we'll call it a day. We have even saved some time. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for climbing up the mountain. And thanks for overcoming the boycott of the mechanic stairs, typically in the museum. And we look forward to tomorrow's session. Someone has asked if they can participate to the session of the European project. I don't think so. But thanks for being so motivated. I would like to ask you or to invite you to visit the exhibition in the Menac tomorrow. We will inaugurate an exhibition. The press conference is closing now. Miraola, another interesting exhibition. 
a very unknown photographer. I am sure you can make the most of your afternoon. And see you tomorrow with Chris Bailey's presentation. Thank you.